Someone is inside Bella's house. And I don't think it's Bella. Wow, the house looks abandoned. Okay, let me use this lighter. Um, let's see, I just need to move it all over the screen. Move it over some candles. Let's see, are there any more candles anywhere? There we go, there are some candles. Oh my gosh, her house is trashed. Okay, that's, that's, that's not good, okay. Okay, there's an animal and a morphing object. There's another animal and uh, I'll try to find the other morphing object later. What, what, what is going on? What do I, what do I do? I look here. Bella, I'm so glad you won the contest of beauty. You deserve to be captured in stone. I'll send a carriage for you. Sincerely yours, Cesare. Oh, so Cesare wanted to make a sculpture of my beloved Bella. Okay. Those are some creepy pictures, though. I'm not sure I quite like it. This Cesare guy seems kind of creepy. And uh, there's a log that I can pick up. Beautiful Bella. I miss her so much. What's with this table? This table has some gloves. So here's a chart. She had the beauty contest there. Uh, she won on the 11th. Okay, so she basically disappeared after winning that beauty contest. Again, I don't know about this beauty contest. Seems a little creepy. I, I, I'm not sure I like it. And there's a, a sketch thingy. Cool. Okay, so Bella's gloves. Caro, can you smell her? Oh, he smells an intruder. Oh, good boy. Okay, so I need some sort of weapon. A log? Sure, let's just use a log to hit whoever's hiding inside Bella's house. I know you're here. Come out. What? It's just a statue. Wait, wait. Whoa, what, what, wait? My time is running out. I tried to stop Cesare and I paid the price. This contest is a trap. The participants will all meet the same fate as me. A trap? He's turning people into statues? Cesare is a sculptor and I was his apprentice. I was to find contestants to pose for his statues. I swear I didn't know what he had in mind. I chose the girl, Bella. She lived in this very house. I wanted to right my wrongs, so I interrupted the transformation process. Bella can still be saved, but you can't let Cesare get the artifact. I... I, I've hidden it in... In? It... Uh, oh... So there's some sort of important artifact and we need to save Bella before she gets turned into a statue here. Just like that poor random guy. Ooh, there's a morphing object. Found the other morphing object. Okay, cool. So this artifact must be very powerful to do this with Carlo. Let's see, there's that tier. And the grapes go here. If you're reading this, something terrible has happened to me. I made a mistake believing Shazare. He fooled me, like Mario, Giovanni, Lucia, Bella. I've hidden a powerful artifact in the house, so don't let Cesare get it. Here's the code. So code is a puzzle. We need to find grapes. So how many grapes are there? One, two, three, four things of grapes? Okay, that's four. How many olives? Hmm. How many hearts? And then how many birds? So just look for olives and birds and hearts. When you find them all... Looks like I still need a, another... Uh, olive. There we go. When you find them all, you get the code. Oh, Carlo. Carlo, I barely knew you. No, seriously, I only knew you for about 10 seconds, then you got turned into stone. Well, let's use the kerchief on the dog. Once again, the dog is really, really helpful and tells us, hey, 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 he was here, he was here, he was here. What a clever dog. Good boy. Good boy. So, was here. Let's use the code, correct? So the code was three, four, two, and one. Hmm, this is a puzzle. What you need to do is just match things according to the outlines. Not too difficult. Each one has a unique shape. Looks like we're going to need more figurines in order to solve this puzzle. This is a picture, uh, we need to paint it, so just use paints on it. 
uh, green grapes, and then maybe, uh, I mean, well, green leaves and purple grapes, and then just a brown, brown pail. We've got the picture. Nice. So I believe we're gonna use it here. Okay, so he has legs that look like this. That's a body, and legs, and a head. And we get a little figurine, which looks just like him. Wow, making figurines is super easy. Hmm, and here's the door knocker. Okay, Cesare hired the hunter Angelo. Why did he hire an evil hunter? I don't know, but it's probably a bad sign. Anyway, behind that newspaper is the figurine we need. Now we have all the figurines for this puzzle. With this puzzle, you want to move things around so they're all in the right spot. So, for example, it looks like we're going to want a gondola over here in the gondola area. And when I, I imagine we're going to have the uh, dancers here on the theater area. Yep. Yep, and people are going to be on the stage in the theater area. Looks like the theater is done. So these are, uh, gosh, winemakers go up here, so they're going to have wine. This one is just, uh, I think, um, glasses. Okay, so who else is going to be in the wine area? The wine stomper. Ah, and this uh, clearly over here is the food area, so that will get all the food things. Yeah, um, this woman does not go in the wine area. Where does she go? Uh, does that guy go in the wine area? No. Up. Oh! person holding wine goes in the wine area. That makes sense. Let's see, a stove is going to go in the cooking area, obviously. And those last two need to swap places. So here is this Open artifact. Up. You can't hide! I, I want to check out the artifact first, sir. Beware of beauty. I must repair the artifact and see how it works. I'm gonna have to fix it. Okay, and who is this? Where's the thief? I've been tracking him for days, and I'm not leaving empty-handed. Signor Cesare promised a rich reward. Oh, I think I figured out what's happened. Okay, so Cesare hired this hunter to track down the guy who was turned into stone. Especially if there are no witnesses. And you've seen this fugitive, haven't you? Too bad. Nothing personal, huh? Huh? What do you- No, no, um, uh, no, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. Okay, he's trying to kill me. I should probably back away from the door. <laughs> I feel whole and perfect again. You have my deepest appreciation, stranger. My creator named me Eva, the one who gives life. Hmm, so this is the special artifact that Cesare hired a hunter to track down. With my help, your perception will grow strong enough to foresee events. Bring me the Tear of Perfection, and I'll grant you my power. See the future? Ooh. Here's Carlos here. I see perfect enthusiasm in this tier. Carlo was a dedicated apprentice. Uh, let's My see. creator was different. He was a great master and made the most beautiful statues until he created his ideal. Her perfection captured his heart. His love became an obsession. He wasted his career and wealth trying to bring his creation to life. He finally found a solution in the form of the forbidden knowledge and used it to create me. But the cost was high. This tear of perfection filled me with power. Use this ability wisely. Interesting. So that's that's a story. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get more when we find the other tears. But yeah, very interesting. Okay, so we tried to bring a statue to life. I guess that explains why we have, you know, people that can become statues. Okay, so a uh, portrait. There's my portrait. Uh, uh, firewood. There's the door. There's the statue. There's the chandelier. 
and there's a bouquet. So which one of these could I use to defeat the hunter? Uh, well, not that. He'll shoot me. Uh, uh, and this? No, he'd definitely shoot me. But what if I slam the door in his face? What the? Yep. She saved me. That worked. Slamming the door in his face totally works. He totally didn't expect it. <laughs> so in the next video, we'll we'll uh, uh, tackle tackle that bad guy. And I'll see if I can find the uh, the morphing objects here. Hmm. There's another one, and there's another one. Okay, found them all. Woohoo! Yay!